1751, 1770. Is and that the time that this man was here? Yes, and then and they give me another figure of time, 1730 something. Mm -hmm. So there's like three figures of time. So who was he then? Um, he was one of a bad lot. Oh, right. And he's still a bad one. In what way is he a bad lot? Well, if, if he was here physically, yeah. he'd want to do so many terrible things to you. Right. More so the ladies than the men. Right. But he'd still do the same mm -hmm. to the men. Right. But he'd smile in front of you. Uh -huh. And he would inv invite you and give you a totally different picture of his person. So was he sort of like the, 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 sort of the, the, the main man here? Did he own the property? Yes, I feel, yes I feel he was here yeah. in that position. I feel a short space of time that he was here. But whilst he was here, he was a degenerate. He was a... Nothing short of evil. Derek had picked up on the spirit of a man that he describes as evil. Would this man's spirit leave us in peace, or was he going to cause trouble? was a place that was steeped in history and Derek had already picked up on a man's presence that was considered evil. Myself and the crew hoped we were not going to come across him. As Derek led us all upstairs, I started to feel intense pain in my back. How's your back? I'm absolutely in agony with my back. Well, I, you see, by me talking about that level of evil down there, this is what we call drainage. You're right. And, you know, they're zapping your energies and it goes to the spine. So let's hope we can, you know, cover you up from that. Do you want a break? Are you okay? No, I'm all right. Yeah. I'm fine. It's just so painful. No, I don't know why. I've, I've been fine all day. I know what that feels like. It, it's happened to me in the past and it's not nice. Okay. Go on then. Where okay. do you want to go? Can we go into this bedroom? Yeah. Please, yeah. Now, this to me is, I don't use this word very often in this work, but this seems to me at this moment to be quite delightful, mm -hmm. a feeling of um, peace and serenity, and yet this like feeling of, oh, oh there we go, her energies, that's better, Sam, that's better, bring her a bit closer, okay, now I was talking about this lady earlier, yeah. who walks around this home a lot, and, um, you know, dresses, uh, what I want to say, if I may, because Sam's confirming it. Did you hear that? Sorry. Yes, yes. that bang. Did you hear that? Yeah. I heard that. I was talking. Hello? 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 Do you want to check for us? Sure. Yeah, that was very clear, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was a distinct bang. Should we yeah. go back in? Yes. Uh, what I want to say, if I may, because Sam's confirming it. What I want to say, if I may, because Sam's confirming it. I am aware of, again, what I was saying a moment ago about the, the lady's presence who comes in here. And she's not alone um, at times. Uh, accompanying her is a young male. I do feel that it would be a son to her. Right, a which is son. what you said, you said earlier. Did I say that, yeah. a son? And I feel um, she only holds on to one little negative thing, mm. and that is when she's in the atmosphere, um, she's absolutely thrilled to be uh, again with her son, but in the spirit body. Margaret! Um, I've just got a female's voice said, Margaret? Oh, right. Margaret. Right. Um, is, are you Margaret with the son? Yeah, Okay. And um, you're not unhappy that we're here? No, she's not. They took him away and killed him. They took his son away and killed him. Margaret, say it again. How do I pronounce that? Margaret, it sounds like Margaret and Anjou. Mm -hmm. Anjou. Yeah. Margaret, Anjou. They what? They incarcerated Margaret. They um, put her away and took her son away and killed him. And um, uh, essence of thought, um, coming to this home, um, she pays uh, regular visit visitations. So who, who's Margaret Anjou? Margaret Anjou? Who would she be, Sam? S 
to say it again. Now, I don't know what this means, but it's his words to me. It's, it's, he was talking about something queen or queens, and then he, he used the word, it sounded like consort, comfort or consort, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. What's the name of her son? Can she tell you that? I'll ask Sam over this. Yeah. Um, this was a young boy. Mm -hmm. She naturally brings the boy. In other words, she never, ever wants to see him out of her sight. Yeah. You say a young boy. How, what kind of age would that sort of be? Oh, gosh. Sam can tell you. Uh, because I'm not actually seeing him, I'm only going to give you what I can right. okay. um, feel. But I feel he, he wouldn't be any older than... Gosh, he wouldn't be any... I don't feel he would have reached the age of eight. Right. I feel he probably uh, maybe a little bit younger. Mm -hmm. Um, he's um, a lively child, and I feel he contributes. He's one of there are many children here, you know. Mm. Oh yes. How many? Look quite a lot. This little blonde girl. Yeah. A little beauty. Yeah. Um, and she's um, again not evil or bad. She's very mischievous. Mm -hmm. And you know the lovely lady's son joins in with her, okay, and goes about up these stairs, up mm. this wall, and up, mm. and they cause all kinds of. Um, noises and and uh, I wouldn't be at all surprised whether in their efforts um, that anyone that was physically in the room would see probably um, you know spirit lights and um, most certainly noises and laughter and you know little screechings and things like that no. which they throw out no. and there's no harm in that mm. that's not evil. No, that has been heard, hasn't it? It has been heard. Yeah, yeah. Has yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you want to go back outside because there's a corridor that runs along here mm. um, that sort of I don't I don't personally like that corridor um, so it'd be interesting to see what you come up with there. Okay. Should we do that? Yes. Okay. Do you know the corridor I mean, Phil? This one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't like this. Mm -hmm. Well, this passageway here, again coming into these energies, mm. what's been actually thrust out at me at the moment is um, feelings of, when I talked about, you know, the children, mm -hmm. the children are often come up this way, but there's, as I stop here for some reason, there's an individual that, when coming up here, um, hovers about, so to speak, around this area. And it's got something to do with the evil practices and things. So he's an he's evil then? Yeah. This, this is the evil person you're talking about down, down on the bottom yes. floor? Yes, again, this evil transports itself throughout this building, moves. You know, the spirit people don't just stay in one spot, as, as we mm. know. But um, I want to say that he and a number, maybe his family, okay, mm. in a group, mm. would... Um, this is what I get, you know. It's like a person purporting to be a very nice sort of person mm. and then, you know, cajoling people. Um, because what comes to mind is like if there's a village near here or people who travel and would stop here these people would be you know encouraged to come in and to be met by a very jovial personality attitude and behind that all that joviality and kindness is just sheer evil of intent who is this man then what's his name uh, I know his essence is listening to me, um, and I firmly believe maybe what you were receiving before what you, around your spinal column mm -hmm. is his energy mm -hmm. of negativity trying to drain. Should we move further down? Yes. Okay. He moves up and down this corridor.